Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, here with today's daily free picks. I have five picks for you guys today. I do apologize for how late the video is. Um, I've been like so far behind all day long, playing catch up all day. Um, but I do have five picks for you guys. Uh, it's nobody's fault but my own that I've been behind all day because um, I went to bed even I go to bed I go to bed late like anyways. But I went to bed like later last night and. Um, you know, I figured I'd just watch some Netflix, help me fall asleep, and I turn on Netflix, and there it is, The Irishman. I forgot it was out already. So I made the excellent choice to watch The Irishman. Unbeknownst to me, it's a three and a half hour movie. So um, I, I'm a diehard De Niro fan. I love Pesci, I love Pacino. Like, it was like, and what an amazing cast. Like, even beyond that, like, there's so many stars in that cast. And it was such a great movie, guys. So I know this is not Movie Review 101, but I highly recommend watching that. If you guys like the movie Casino, if you like Goodfellas, uh, you're going to like this movie. So definitely watch it. But it, uh, yeah, I slept in today and we're getting towards the end of the month. So, you know, I'm retooling all my systems, going back over everything, checking systems like, you know, over the last 30 days, see how everything's performing. Um, so time kind of got away from me. But anyways... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste any more time, guys. Let me just get you these picks here for today, and uh, I will try to uh, try to get out as soon as like I'm done this. Uh, I'm gonna get start on tomorrow's games, and I'll try to get that to you guys tonight if I can. So um, yesterday, guys, we were one and three, so we lost all three of our super system plays. It wasn't so super yesterday. We got the under in the football game. That was a nice uh, divisional under. Um, which I explained that system to you guys numerous times. Um, you know, you'll make a lot of money off that system. And it's really important, guys, um, just to mention as well, because I'm going to continue to give you guys my basketball, the super system plays. Um, you know, we're performing exceptionally well, like well above what the lifetime average of the system is. And it's important that you don't overweight that system, meaning, you know, you're not, you're not going above and beyond what your bankroll means are betting on that system or any system for that matter, right? I mean, you could have a system that's hitting 95% and you still don't want to go too far outside. Well, in 95% maybe you would. But anyways, guys, so, you know, if, again, just to like recap, guys, if you're if you're a casual, like casual better, just kind of having fun, one to 5% of your bankroll, um, you know, if you have a set static, amount for the whole year like an allowance kind of thing like that's what you can bet on sports one to three percent guys and um you know as a professional you never want to bet more than one percent um i typically bet you know half a percent on most of my games up to one percent so that's what you want to do guys um all right so i'm going to get back into the picks today so we have four picks um in the super system first one is syracuse and penn state going under 135 so uh, Syracuse and Penn State under 135. We have San Diego State and Iowa under 137 and a half. San Diego State, Iowa under 137 and a half. We have Oklahoma State, Mississippi going under 139 and a half. So Oklahoma State, Mississippi under 139 and a half. And you have Arizona and Pennsylvania going under 146 and a half. Um, 146 and a half at most places, but you can find uh, 147 at Pinnacle. So if you're on Pinnacle, uh, jump on that 147. Otherwise, uh, Arizona, Pennsylvania under 146 and a half. And then I have one other college basketball game for you guys today. Um, I keep getting emailed a lot about uh, NBA. You guys ask like, you know, I don't put up a lot of NBA picks. Um, you know, I'm not confident in NBA. I have some good systems in the NBA. Um, you know, I certainly find more value in college and, you know, my, my experience with the NBA and I'll, I'll just be a hundred percent honest with you guys. Cause I don't like diving into like, you know, the conspiracies and, and this and that, like I hear it enough in the NFL of people say, Oh, you know, the NFL's fixed or pre predetermined, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, I, the, the, in my opinion, the NBA is crooked. Okay. And I don't like, again, I, you know, I'll probably get arguments saying, well, why are people going to crook? And I don't mean crooked where it's like, you know, 
necessarily Vegas is fixing it. But I've heard way too many stories. I mean, if you ever watch Donahue interviews and stuff like that, like he'll come right out and tell you that the NBA fixes games. He's a referee, referee for them. He got caught fixing games. Well, for lack of a better term, fixing games. But I mean, you know, if if you read up on any of his stuff, um, you know, he would say like the NBA would come out in the playoffs and say, okay, we want this game to go to seven. So they'd intentionally like, you know, force a series to go to seven games. Um, that's fixing games. You know, there'd be other games where the NBA would come out, you know, and say to the officials, you know, we, we really want you to, you know, to crack down on, on this, or we want you to crack down on that. And, you know, they weren't directly saying fix that game, but what they were saying was, um, you know, we want, like, they would go to an official before a game and say, we really want you to call so-and-so closely. So you know he's going to get a lot of fouls on him. So that's what all Donahue was doing was taking instructions from the referee or instructions from the NBA. Like he wasn't doing it on his own. He was taking instructions from the NBA, calling up a friend of his and saying, hey, you know, like the, the NBA has said that, you know, we got we to gotta crack down on LeBron James this game. There's no way they're covering the spread. So bet against them. And the NBA would actually like... Dude, like it's so dishonest. Like I, I again, so you know, I bet on I bet on the NBA. I do bet on it. Um, I'm very selective. I pick my spots. I don't like betting big matchups. I don't like betting you know large televised games. I don't I don't like putting my money in the fate of you know an organization like the NBA, which has been you know exposed numerous times for cheating. So um, caveat emptor, I guess buyer beware. If you're betting on the NBA, so I do bet on the NBA, but um, only certain games. So that's what you'll notice, guys. So, anyways, I'm sorry to kind of get into that. I know some of you guys probably won't agree with that, but um, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't trust the NBA. That's that's the bottom line. You know, I, I trust the NFL. Um, you know, I give them a hard time sometimes. I think their officiating is, you know, can be garbage. I think uh, for the most part. The NCAA, NCAA sports, um, you know, co like college basketball, college football. I trust the organizations. I don't know that I completely trust the officials, but that's okay. I mean, if you get burned once in a while because you're on the wrong side of a game, um, that's okay. But again, you know, a lot of those cases, you just want to be not betting with the public. You want to be betting with Vegas, and it's funny how things kind of work out for you. But with the NBA... Um, I, I just, I don't trust the organization. I don't trust the integrity of the game. And um, therefore, I don't bet it very often. So that is the long answer to the question you guys ask me. You will see picks in the NBA, um, but just not super often. So anyways, last pick, guys. Back to college basketball, guys. A uh, small school game. Um, we got uh, Abilene Christian against SMU. Okay, so Abilene Christian, SMU. Um I think SMU is getting way too much respect in this game, like way too much respect. Um, the Sharps are, the Sharps know SMU should not be getting 16 and a half points. Like they know that. Okay. Like there's 21, only 21% of bets. Like the public is, is not betting on Abilene in this game. Um, the public's betting on SMU and they're wrong. Um, so SM, SMU is getting like all the public bets. On, on Abilene, there's 21% of bets, 54% of money. That's a lot of sharp money on that. So in this game, guys, we're taking Abilene Christian plus 16 and a half. Okay, so plus 16 and a half um, against SMU. So that's it for today, guys. Let me get this posted up. And uh, I'll hopefully be back later this evening or very early tomorrow with tomorrow's picks. Uh, so you have some more opportunity to get those in. So thank you guys very much. I apologize again about the late video. I'm going to get back on track trying to get this done earlier and stop screwing around with Netflix late in the morning. Good movie though, guys. If you get a chance here on Netflix, The Irishman, check it out. Trust me. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, have a very lucky day.